They call me Squirrel. What's going on, Squirrel Squad? It's your boy, the Squirrel, and tonight I am going to sit down and record a video to put out tomorrow for you guys. And I've been waiting to do this one. Just, you know, sometimes I'm just like, I gotta be wait to be in that right move when I really need that video. And tonight's the night, you know. Um, I don't know. I'm just in the mood for some Fred Dibna. You know, once in a while I just like, yeah, I need to watch a Dibna video. You know, uh, you know, and I'll go watch. I'll watch a random one, you know, or parts of the series or whatever. But uh, there's certain ones that I definitely want to react to, and I haven't seen him take down a Stimney. Uh, damn, the Stimney era. Pfft. Starting out great already, right? I haven't seen him take down a chimney stack yet. Uh, I know he does it old school style, and I do sound check uh, and try to balance sound out before I start the videos. I know it doesn't always work, but I try. It's really more in the in the editing process that I screw it up. But either way, uh, this video sounded very, very, very low. I just listened to like one or two sentences Fred was saying just to try to get the sound. I played it back. So I've got the sound all the way up on the desktop. I got me pulled back a bit, and I will definitely try to remember to pause it if I'm going to speak. That's what's going on. If you're new here, enjoy some Fred Devna. If you know what to do if you want to stick around. I'm not going to talk about that. I just want you to enjoy the video. That's all I want. Just enjoy the freaking video this way. Here we go. The legend. Fred's chimney toppling performances have always attracted a following. Pensioners, children, strange men who describe themselves as chimney enthusiasts and citizens who in former times might have attended public hangings now <laughs> turn up in the hope of seeing a disaster. <laughs> the audience funny. has grown with his fame so that now a crowd was assembling of a size that Bolton Wanderers Football Club might have envied. I love these old cars, by the way. I mean, it's amazing how many people are going to come watch a chimney fall for that probably exact reason, but it's so cool to see these old cars. There was concern that Fred should not spoil Sunday for these people by bringing down his chimney on top of them. <laughs> There's no way it can fall the wrong way, you know. Uh, I mean, the bricks are really good, and we've eliminated this half of it, so it's got to go that bloody way one way or another, you know. Either. And ideally, we want it to go, you know, towards that new brickwork over there. And that's the way we've cut it to go. But squirrels are awkward, and they always want to fall like square ways, you know. So we'll just have to see what happens, you know. It either it, it'll either come dead square or it'll go over there, won't it? So Squirrens, or square ones, I believe, is the rest of us would say it. <laughs> Squirrens are off if they want to go the square way. Oh, this guy's great. I love his his thick uh, dialect. You know, uh, I'm well. 80% confidence it'll go over there, but the other it could, you know, go straight, but it's got to come this way. <laughs> we once did one, and we engineered it, so the borough engineer had to light the fire. And it, we wouldn't have done it on this day, Vianna had been coming, and it were blowing a force 10 bloody gale towards it, you see, and, and everything went wrong. It were blowing that hard that the fire set fire to the field next door, and it, it were blowing so hard it didn't even draw. All the sticks burned away, and it stayed up, and it were rocking, going three foot out of plumber and coming back. Now, if oh, anyone crap. ever said that to me, I'd have said, I don't believe you, it's impossible. Something that big, get yeah, three foot out of plumber and come back, no way. But it's as true as I bloody stand here, it were going three foot out of plumber and coming back. And in the end, we had to put a jack in the back and jack it up, you know, and it went over eventually. Wow. Is that one at the arse lever? That's it, Yeah, yeah. About 19... <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's bringing their pitches. So I have a picture of a chimney falling, and uh, well, this chimney here is falling. And uh, we've seen this one before, but this chimney's falling. I just think it's great that these people have pictures, probably of. I'm, I'm probably gonna about to find out. I know. I sh shut up and listen, squirrel. I know, but probably of things he's done, and they're, they're fans, which I think is absolutely incredible. I just love that. There's people standing around like, hey, see these pictures of this chimney falling. Fred's like, oh yeah. 50s. Yeah, round about that time. It's just the same way of doing it. There's ah, look, doing it. Just, just same as what we did, but 30 years ago. Flat caps and wood binds. Oh, wow. So the people who did it before him, the same way. That's well, awesome. That's a good one, isn't it? Mm. 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 White soap always goes like that today. Yeah. There's just one thing, like, put a damper on this this morning, and... Like the fella who were my 
childhood hero, Harry Holden. He, he died last week, you know, they're burying him tomorrow. And, uh, you know, he was like, in my eyes, a super steeple guy. Um, God bless him, you know. So I think we'll do this in honour of Harry Holden this morning. You know. Are you right? How you doing? Uh, matches. matches, yeah. <laughs> right. How you doing? Yes. <laughs> Your knees have gone like jelly. <laughs> Your knees have gone like jelly. <laughs> <laughs> now no, it could be wrong. Well, we may go back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think that's hat. What time is it now? Here we go. Oh, yeah. Not, not the policeman, the other guy. Oh, the policeman, too. These people have nice hats. We've got a bloody good crow, don't we? We <laughs> run, run with the cat. Yeah. You won't do that, Roger. <laughs> uh, it's so great. It's such a community uh, event. Fred brought people together. Everybody comes to see a disaster, you see. And, like, there ain't going to be one, you know. I'm 100% confident. Like this bloody raglow. Come on, which time we're starting. That's exactly it. I mean, you see all these people here. Everybody wants to watch the chimney fall. And I just said, Fred brings people together. That's why... American reactors like myself all watch the Fred Dibna videos because it's great to see what a community hero looks like in uh, in the older times, I suppose, or looked like. Um, but Fred brings people together. So people will come back and watch these videos and see our reactions to them because of that warm feeling that Fred gives everyone, I think. I think that's why, I mean... I don't know. Like, I fell in love with this guy. He's awesome. You know, that, that Dibna tribute video, video still gets me when I watch it. I know some people didn't like it. They thought it was kind of hokey, the song and stuff, but it was about the it was about the message, I think, you know? But Fred Dibna brings people together. There you go. See that? That could be the campaign slogan if he were still alive and running for, like, mayor or something. Right, time. The deadline's coming. It's going to start raining. <laughs> hey, just think Boy, it's Oh, yeah. Right, see, this end over here, you know. Uh, stick it in there. Look. Right, chaps, I'll get you. That'll do now. You've done it, you've done it. Come on, everybody out now. Come on. Everybody outside. Oh, boy. I think it was up quick. Probably kerosene or something in there, I would guess. Maybe not. It might just be dry wood and there's a lot of uh, drop cloths and stuff in there. Nothing we can do now. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, is that guy ch chucking some gasoline on there? Did you see that? That's kind of gutsy. Yeah. Look at this. Hey. Gasoline soaked box. Boof. Maybe it was gasoline. It didn't go boof. Look at this. You can get the far away shot. <laughs> Tires. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. I can see people's heads spinning right now with burning tires. <laughs> uh, I can imagine. It's not good. Not good for the environment. We know that. <laughs> this, guy's, this guy's like, you bastard, you're choking me out. I can't breathe in my living room. How cool is this? We're just chilling, having a fight. It's all a fearsome wall, huh? Wow. I'm curious to find out if the fall puts out the fire. I, I'll find out. Just curious. It's a thought I'm having. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I think it might put out a good chunk of it. It's going to fall on top of it. Squaring. Yeah, it's on, it's on the move now. Not very long. Another five minutes, ten minutes maybe. You know. If that. That dropped, that's gone down two inches in while we've been talking, you know. So we got here, Fred. Wow, that's blazing. Holy smokes. I mean, it's got to be here. It's going to take down this huge chimney. All right, guys, let's walk over here just in case. Not be long now. Wow.
get the smoke one last time, that chimney does. It's really cool to watch. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I tell it out. Oh, the crowd's getting excited. They should be. Look at this. How big that thing is. You should be happy, dude. Great job. Very slap. <laughs> yeah, it almost put the fire in it. Put a lot of it out. Looks like it from here. It's okay, we're a good one. I knew it. I had every ounce of confidence in that one. We just so got it cool. wrong. It's so cool to see all the smoke just rising off of the entire carcass of the chimney. Wow. That's so, so neat, you know. Wow. And we all know how amazing Fred is. I'm not going to sit here and toot the horn of Master Dibna over and over. But uh, it was really cool to watch him take the chimney down. I'm glad I got to do that. Uh, I hope you guys uh, that hadn't seen that before, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I hope those of you that relived it enjoyed watching it again. That's one now that I can add to my... <clears throat> Excuse me. Wow. A little... Oh. That's one now that I can add to my uh, playlist of things that uh, I go back to watch again when I'm looking for something just to chill to. And... Uh, That'll be one of those videos. So I hope you guys have a great day and uh, take care of each other. And remember, if you treat other people the way you want to be treated, the world will be a better place. My buddy Jim taught me that, and I believe it. Squirrel out.